So, hello. Welcome to a video on a average player's guide. Star Wars Battlefront 2. I am not very good at this game. I'm just average. I don't consider my me good nor bad. I consider myself to be good in certain situations and bad in others. And this gun, I just unlocked it and I am not used to it. So what I would say is... If you have the Deluxe Edition... God, he had a thermal imploder. Um, and... If you're using this gun or one of the beginner guns... Because they're not full auto and they don't do that much damage as other guns or do it as fast, I suggest you stay up far away and continuously move and only s fire. Never stay in one place. And wall, you you have to double tap to wall. Double tap circle on PS4 and Xbox is equivalent to circle. I haven't seen an Xbox control in a while, so sorry if I'm no help there. I wish I could be of help, especially since this is a guide. But I'll do what I can to help you beginners out. So. As soon as you get 50 kills at the assault, start using the A280. Only use it if you're in wide open maps like this. I suggest you go into third person. To go into third person, you press the down arrow on the D-pad, and I suggest you do that. Or if you don't, if you feel like zooming but not going into the scope, but I suggest always zooming in with this gun and the starting gun and the a280 definitely the a280 i'm gonna show you guys here that gun in a minute when i die <laughs> now if you bought the lux you get a free gun the cr2 you get the sword tier of every gun for every class i don't have the deluxe i've unlocked everything i have Legitimately. Hopefully you guys. Hope I could. If I so desired I could buy the lock. But I'm not going to. Definitely since I already unlocked half this stuff. All this stuff I can. And a lock almost. Because I'm an assault kid. I personally recommend you pick your characters i'm gonna today i'm going over assault so always be very careful like see there i did a decent amount of damage um because i saw him in the head and you want your gun to rise a bit and never engage in a walkie because they can basically one shot you with they hit every shot on you, which if you press L2, you, you well on as an enforcer, well as the Wookiee, it'll make you go, it'll make it, instead of zooming in, it'll, I'll make it go in a line. It'll make it go in a horizontal, vertical? I don't, vertical line. Oh, come, I, yeah, I, just got this gun like maybe two hours ago, so. There, I just got triple teamed on. So. This can't get any upgrades. This is a starter gun. But once you get this, every seven, 25, 75, and 150 guns you get, you get um a new upgrade for this one the first one is dual zoom then improved cooling which is really good and then you get improved range which i do 
you c and then for the CR2, I don't uh, haven't unlocked everything, but you get reduced recoil for this light stock and ion shot and night vision. Ion shot is good against tanks, and as you can tell, it, it modifies the appearance. That's it without ion. This is it with it. I choose just doing it with ion because it does a little extra damage, but because it suits so fast, you still obliterate them. And then with this, I don't. It does damage. It does reduced recoil is the first one you get. Then you get improved range, which is good. And then dual zoom, which is also good. So you get two close quarter weapons and a farther distant weapon. I'm gonna go to the A280 now. Let's hunt some um. And. If I double tap. If I press. R3 or the left analog, right analog stick. Sorry for the mistake there. Shoot three bursts at once. It is a one shot headshot, I do believe. This is my favorite gun in the entire game. Next video, I will be doing this support heavy, whatever, heavy. Crap. Yeah, this Wookiee keeps annihilating me. If you see a Somal in Ploto 1, they can kill you from super far distance. And in this case, at close quarters. This is one of the better maps for the A280 in that gun I was just using. I don't quite remember the name, but next time I die, I'll show you it. Well, next round. I'm probably going to end up doing two rounds in this video. Vanguard. Use Vanguard. Always have Vanguard equipped. It'll help you out a lot, except against the Wookiee. Because Wookiees have basically the same thing that's way better. Vanguard. You want to use Vanguard in close quarters and in tight areas. Or if there's multiple enemies really close. Support my team. And I think that was my teammate who just launched that at me. This E E dash eleven F, I think. I don't know. I couldn't see it. I was four and nine. I was not trying that round, and I was not doing good. And this is really annoying. Don't mind these. These are just the closest things you have to what you're doing now. So next round, I'm going to be going over... Um... Abilities. Star cards. In this game, you get three bonuses. You can get a... Survival card, which upgrades something when you do something. Or gives you more health. Or reduces damage. Or... Makes it so that when you kill someone, you get less explosive damage. Um, then you can equip. You can equip as many things as you want. But, as you can see, if I go here, replace his Somal Detonator. Replace his Somal Detonator. Replace his Vanguard.
Oh yes. Got your back. Okay then. So I normally will with that loader could have helped me out. I'm probably gonna switch to slug Vingard next death because I don't care for thermal detonators. They can be useful, but they can also be not useful. I'm actually... Look at how easy that was. This gun suits in boss, sweet boss. It's really good for sniping and mid way mid to far range. Which makes this gun one of the best guns in the game. Cause a lot of the maps are really open like this. You would not be able to defeat somebody in here with the CR2. And to unlock each gun, to unlock the A280, you gotta get 50 kills. To unlock the CR2, you gotta get 200 kills. And then to unlock the EE115, oh, you say it. You know what I'm talking about. So you will knock. No, it's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do video here game. So what you want to do to equip them is you want to unlock them. So you go there. You this is the first one you unlock. You need 50 kills, and to me it's one of the best ones. Then there's the CR2. It is my favorite gun. It normally, when you get it, it'll look like this, though. But I use these upgrades, so. And then you got the L16FE, which is a really good gun once you get used to it. Now, back to the star cards. This, these are boost cards. They are what I was talking about, survival. Sorry for getting you mixed up. My bad. Sorry, guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll play. Give you some um, video footage without talking. See you next time. Bye.